stick it in the microwave. Okay, now I'm gonna take one of these, like shove this in my face. <laughs> Hey cuties! Mwah. So today I'm going to be, oh, Shugsy's trying to get the string of this and he's pulling and I'm naked. <laughs> Shugsy's just waking up with me. I'm waking up with all of the animals. Benny's in his bed. This is gonna be more of a vlog moment. I'm about to go to the gym, but I have been requested to do some what I eat in a day and I'm on 30 hard right now. So I am doing a calorie deficit. If that triggers you in any way, then I would just click out of the video now. I'm not gonna say, what is in, what is this that just popped up? Cool. <laughs> We're putting on makeup today, so whatever. If you guys want more what I eat in a day, let me know. But I'm just waking up, and the first thing that I'm consuming <laughs> is Robax. <laughs> Literally, this is gonna be a realistic every single thing I put into my body. So Robax, I am sore from the gym uh, for the last three days. Not as sore as yesterday. Yesterday, I was like very sore. I think my body's getting used to it now on day four. And also, it's almost empty. My like night water is what I call it. And I just finish it before I get up in the morning. And when that kicks in, I'm going to go to the gym. So I'm not going to be mentioning calories in this video. But just so you guys know, I am counting my calories and weighing everything. But I'm not going to be sharing that information. So I don't know if you guys will be fine with that if you do get triggered. But just know that I am getting sufficient calories. That's just that's just what it is. So that's what I'm going to do for these. If you guys want to see more of what I eat in the days on 30 Hard or just in general. Okay, now that I'm ready for the gym, I'm going to take my pre-workout. I do not take pre-workout. I'm going to take my pre-workout. Workout. I know some people think that like that's crazy. Like how do you get the energy? I just have the motivation like if I'm doing this challenge I'm doing it. So this is my pre-workout. <laughs> this is my pre-workout. It's just b12 vitamin b12 They are so small. Oh, I forgot to say with the row bag I have to snap them in half because I have a really hard time swallowing pills But I'm not gonna show you guys like having trouble swallowing it. The b12 is literally this big. It's so small <laughs> It's literally nothing. I don't eat before the gym. I do fast and I will break my fast when I do that. I'll be back here, but I'm gonna go to the gym, do all that. I'll see you guys when I eat the next thing. Eat the next thing. <laughs> also, I don't know if you guys wanna know times. It's 8.30 in the morning, so I'm not even hungry for breakfast anyway. But I'll catch you guys in a bit. Hey guys! Okay, so um, the next thing I'm putting in my body, I just did a quick little thingy because my mom and I are going to get some new gym shoes for me. We're gonna go to the Skechers outlet. But before that, I'm bringing my water with me. I drink a gallon of water a day. That's not exaggerating, that's how much I drink. So that's all the liquid I drink is just water. But I'm taking one of these hair, skin and nails, uh, nature's bounty vitamins. My mom's about to pull up and be here and pick me up. Um, that's the next thing I'm having. I'm getting a little bit hungry, but we're not gonna be out long, maybe half an hour that I'm gonna come home and make lunch. This is your sign to drink water. Those things are really chewy. And mine always, I don't know if you guys get these, but mine always stick together. Also, I'm running low on these. They're always in a clump. Like, I'm like, should I not eat these? <laughs> Hi guys, I just got home. It is 1 p.m. I'm starving. So we're gonna have lunch now. I am just gonna cook up this chicken breast, this lonely chicken breast, because I bought a big pack of them for this week and we use them all and I have this one remaining and it's gonna expire in two days. So let's make it for lunch. Protein! <laughs> you don't need pre-workout when you have a natural crack energy. <laughs> And I'm just gonna put the chicken like this and bake it. No seasonings. Um, I don't mess with seasonings. I'm just kidding. What in the world? <laughs> I'm using these seasonings today. This is what I was craving. So basic um, PNS. I'm using the Dano's original and then some paprika. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. This is before. This is her naked body. Okay, so I'm gonna do just like a dot of olive oil to blend all those oops, spices all together just so that they don't like just are super dry but yeah this is what it looks like i'm gonna get the sides and stuff but yeah it's gonna cook up nicely she's now has clothes on and is seasoned I'm gonna soak that up yeah i'm gonna bake this i'm starving i'm like ravenous right now once it's once i have a license plate on it because otherwise it's this is a sweet potato. Just put a little bit of olive oil. I did a, a tutorial this a tutorial on this on the cooking channel. Putting some cracked salt um, to match my cracked energy. This is not good for my nails to put olive oil, but you know what? <laughs> it is what it is. If they fall off, whatever. My nails tend to fall off if I use a lot of olive oil and work with olive oil. But anyway, just wrap this up loosely and stick it in the microwave and steam it kind of. I love sweet potatoes and they have packed with nutrients. Okay, I'm not trying to be skinny with this part, okay? <laughs> This is literally all I have for cheese right now and broccoli. <laughs> 
So um, if I had more, I would make more, but we're going grocery shopping in a few hours here and I'm just having lunch and the chicken and the sweet potato will fill me up, but I do want a veggie on the side because there's only just this much. I'm just gonna make it in this, but I'm also just gonna steam it in the microwave while my chicken is cooking. But at least I get some kind of greens. I'm not just, if I had more cheese, trust me, I would use more cheese. I'm not trying to be like, ooh, like I, <laughs> Yes, I'm going to wash this. Haven't washed it yet. And look at it, it's going like kind of like floppy, like I need to use it today. And I already washed the sweet potato and I scrubbed it. So wash your vegetables. It actually works nice as a little side dish. Some salt. Okay, I wanted onion powder for this. I was like wanting something oniony, but we're gonna have to use garlic powder. I don't I don't I need to buy some. I don't have any. And then just a, a splash of water on this, and then I'm gonna steam it in the microwave. Oh, look at that. Yum. Okay, this is what the broccoli looks like. Trust me, it's good. I love broccoli. <laughs> There's the chicken. Yum. This looks amazing. Okay, here's the sweet potato. Oh, I think I cooked the broccoli for too long. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Here's the broccoli. The cheese is like caked onto it. Oh well. It doesn't look that good, but trust me, it will be. And then incoming the chicken. There we go. Amazing. Well balanced. Beautiful. I think this looks really good. And of course, with water. Okay, I'm gonna try some of the sweet potato. It's cooked perfectly. Mm, mm, mm. The broccoli. Oh my god, it overcooked, but the cheese made it, it's like crispy, crispy cheese. The broccoli's so good, actually. I'm gonna cut off some of the chicken. Chicken's cooked perfectly. It's still really hot, but mmm. Lunch. Okay, I just got back from my, it was more of like a, not a sprint, I was gonna say sprint, like a speed walk today. I did not bring Coop with me so that I could just, and Austin didn't come with me so I could just um, go. So um, I think I want to make an espresso. It's 4 p.m. I'm honestly craving like literally a pack or a box of crumble cookies right now. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna make like a sweet espresso, double espresso shot. So make one with me. I am not a barista in any way, shape or form. Anyone that is, like I'm sorry. <laughs> Just take the old espresso, throw it away. I don't clean it, like everyone's probably shaking right now. I just take ground coffee. Like, don't do what I do, basically. I just put, I probably do this wrong, but honestly, blame Austin, because he's the one that taught me. <laughs> one of my best friends was literally a barista, so I could just ask her. Wait, Austin did this one day, and I was like shook. This came with this machine, and I didn't know that you could like, okay, look at it, and you could just like flatten it down. I'm so messy with it, but literally it's just a whatever. Um. <laughs> So that's that, and then I put it back on. Okay, so I haven't used this yet. Um, this is a skinny syrup. So what I do, I'm not a fan of hot coffee, but I like ice. So I take this little Balenciaga mug, I get some ice. Okay, then I did not keep the original packaging of this because it was literally the worst packaging, but this is just, it's like uh, marine collagen or something like that. I don't know if it does anything. I don't know. But uh, my mom told me that my skin looked like it was glowing. And ever since I've been using this, people have been complimenting my skin. I have been eating better though. So that might be it. But I just like sprinkle some in there like that. You can't really taste it, especially with the strong espresso. So that's that. It doesn't fit. Watch. <laughs> so I just like force it <laughs> like that. So it's in now. And then I just hit... Not one, but a double espresso. And then I pray that it works and it always does. <laughs> and then there it goes. Oh, you're not even, not even filming it. There we go. This is what I'm left with. I do just like, oh wait, I think I'm gonna put in the syrup first. Mm -mm. So this is caramel cream cheesecake. I don't know if I just said that. I'm just gonna put that much. It's probably a lot. And then a splash of oat milk like that. Needs more ice. So that is my like midday little pick me up type thing. Mmm. I'm gonna way too much of that caramel cream. Oh well. <laughs> it doesn't even taste like espresso anymore. Oh, well, I'll be a wide awake. Yes, I use a plastic straw also. Also, and I think I said that I only drink like water as my liquid. Obviously, that's a lie because <laughs> because here we go. All right, guys, we're having supper now. We just went grocery shopping. We got some chicken breast, and I've already Ooh. just done. Oh my gosh, <laughs> he wanted an Asian food inspired night, so he chose all these dishes, and it works. With mine, we're having spam fried rice. It's basically like chicken rice and vegetables, but like amped up a bit because I've been having a lot of chicken rice and vegetables. It's gonna be um, stir fried vegetables. And then this is the chicken. So I just did a quick marinade. It's with this bulgogi, bulgogi mild and sweet sauce. And he's gonna barbecue that up. And then we're gonna have, instead of just regular rice, we're gonna have some spam rice. I just have the rice cooking in here. And then we're gonna throw some vegetables in it. We just got these frozen vegetables. We both don't like green beans. So we picked them out. 
Not all of them, some of them are fine. Corn, peas, and carrots. And then what's the other thing? Oh, you're having pork buns. Yes, I'm not gonna have any, but uh, oh, here is the vegetables that we're gonna stir fry. We just grabbed these because they're quick. And then we're also gonna throw in some baby corn with them. And I have um, a half a pepper and then some green onions. It sounds like a lot, but <laughs> honestly, it's gonna come together quite quickly. Let's get to it. So this is crisping up. Okay, we are crisped up. We're gonna put some veggies in. Okay, I have some sesame oil in the pan. Just putting some garlic to stir fry these vegetables. Yes, I'm using a fork. <laughs> I don't know, should we use the entire bag? Yeah. I think so, because yeah. it's for both of us and we can use some for lunches the next day. Look at these. These are so cute. <laughs> these are going to be good. Yeah. Okay, we have the fried rice. Now I'm going to season it up and add some of these three ingredients here. Okay, it's looking way better now. I'm going to add some sriracha. Yum. This is looking great. There's pork buns, if you guys are wondering. And the vegetables are cooking up. And yeah, then we'll let it cook. It down. And then we'll flip it. There's the stir fried vegetables. Ooh, Give them like 30 those more chickens seconds. look amazing. Look at the fried rice. Nice and crisped up. Oh my gosh. Did those I, chickens look barbecue or what? great. They look great. <laughs> and then here are the. It, we made a mess, but literally we just chefed it up right now. Here are the vegetables. Some fresh, some canned, some frozen. <laughs> all mixed in there. Hey, that's my style. They're so good. And let's see what the result is omg Oof. you're cutting that terribly <laughs> you cooked them amazing here's my plate so far i've got some veggies yum he's taking a picture of it looks so good this is his for a reference you guys like look at how amazing this looks he put a little bit of chili oil on there on his pork buns he cut up his chicken and then we decided to add some sesame seeds to our mixed veg and then the fried rice is cooked Perfectly, the sriracha just hit it home. Are you happy with it? Yes. Yay! Okay, so this is my plate for supper: some chicken rice and veggies, and I cannot wait. Let's try everything. And for the time, it is 7:06 p.m. Let's try the mixed veggies. Mmm, mmm, great flavor. I'm gonna get a little bit of everything with the fried rice. We made it like crispy too. Mmm. Not too salty. Perfect. We got the low sodium. Ooh, it is. It doesn't have a kick with the sriracha. See, it's like crispy there. I think I might have added a little bit too much sriracha. <laughs> now the chicken. Chicken again. <laughs> That's my favorite thing on the plate. Yeah? It's awesome. Mmm. Much better than one. Yay! Yum! Oh my god, yum. I don't know if you guys want to see how much I ate, but this is what I ended up eating. Okay, everyone, I am back in bed. I am going to <laughs> end the night with one of these, a melatonin. But these are the true ZZZ. I have a lot of energy at the end of the night. I feel like I could still go for another walk. I'm not as, like, lazy in bed all day. Hello. <laughs> for child proof. And I'm a child. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, they smell so familiar to me. Like a candy or a cereal or something. Oh, they smell really good. It says take one or two. I'm gonna start with one. We just bought these. Not the texture I was expecting. Super soft. Those are so good. If these were just like a candy and not melatonin, I would have another one. <laughs> That's what I'm having. That was actually just like a nice little sweet treat. <laughs> Super sweet, actually. But they have chamomile and lavender with melatonin and Vicks. So it'll help you like stay asleep or whatever. So just to wind down for the night. Gonna watch some TikToks with Austin. And if you guys want more of these, let me know. Also, what'd you guys eat for supper, lunch, whatever today? What'd you guys eat? What was your favorite thing you ate today? Let me know. I love food. <laughs> I think the um, hair, skin, and nails vitamins are making my hair grow long like this is like what I had for extensions before like my hair is really growing and it's healthy despite it being like bleach blonde it's healthy yeah also like good hair care has to do with it too and that's it I hope you guys have a great night and I love you guys so much bye thank you guys for watching bye there's also none of this was sponsored by the way I don't even know if these are good but <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed so bye guys love you Mwah.